Continental Congress, the United States in Congress assembled, the Congress of the United States. Official flag of the United States of America, Republican form of state government. The Office of America in the Family of Nations. Original General Territory of the Office of America in the Family of Nations. Mirror the Administrative Government of the United States in the Territory. Original One. 36 U.S.C.S. Section 172, Older Pledge. Mirror One. 36 U.S.C.S. Section 171, Under God, History. Original Two. 4 U.S.C.S.C.H.P.T. 2 Section 41, Official Seal. Mirror Two. 4 U.S.C.S. Section 41, Great Seal 1935-1986. Original 3. 4 U.S.C.S.C.H.P.T. 1 Section 1, Official Flag. Mirror 3. 4 U.S.C.S. Section 1, Historical Flag 50 Stars. Original 4. Republican Form of Government, Art 4 Section 4, 5 U.S.C. Section 1501, 1. Mirror 4. Federal Government, 28 U.S.C.S. Section 3002, 5 U.S.C.S. Section 1501, 2. Original 5. General Constitution 3 Branches. Mirror 5. Federal Administrative 3 Departments. Original 6. The Congress of the United States. Mirror 6. United States Congress. Original 7. Law of Nations, Family of Nations, Art 1 Section 8 Clause 10. Mirror 7. United Nations. Original 8. Common Law, Art 3 Section 1 2. Mirror 8. Statutory Law, Admiralty, 11th Amend. Original 9. Natural Born Citizen. Mirror 9. 14th Amendment Citizen. Original 10. Senate of the United States. Mirror 10. United States Senate, not mentioned. Article 1 Section 3, in the Constitution. Original 11. Laws of the United States. Mirror 11. Judicial System. Original 12. President of the General National United States Government, Art 2 Section 3. Mirror 12. President of the Corporate National United States Government, 12th Amend. Original 13. De jure. Mirror 13. De facto. Original 14. Articles 1-7 Bill of Rights. Mirror 14. 11th 27th Amendment, ex post facto. Original 15. A Declaration July 4, 1776. Original 13 Nations. Mirror 15. Declaration of Independence July 4, 1776, 12 Colonies. Original 16. Enactments. Mirror 16. Executive Orders. Original 17. National, Denizen. Mirror 17. Alien. Original 18. Qualified Voter. Mirror 18. Registered Voter. Note. Article equals USA Constitution at amend equals US Constitution at section equals sections at CHPT equals chapter USCS equals United States Code Services Lawyers Edition Previous, current publications of the USCS also see, e.g., White House, Constitution. Equals Common Law versus Dollar equals Commerce. Preamble, Constitutional, 1 tenth dollar 11th 26th Amendment, UCC. Civil and Penal Code Dollar Political Code. Asterisk man, male and female, dollar person, persona, mask, actor. Corporeal, real body, dollar incorporate, made like a body. Endowed by creator dollar limited by bylaws. Created the law dollar created by the law. Primary state citizen dollar United States citizen, 14th. Federal non-resident dollar federal citizen. Asterisk man is sovereign dollar government is sovereign. Government is servant dollar person, corporation is servant. Not in servitude dollar voluntary servitude. Certain unchangeable rights dollar certain unchangeable statutes. Una lien able rights dollar licensed privileges. Rights cannot be revoked dollar revocable rights. Rights and immunities dollar privileges and duties. Responsibilities dollar limited liabilities. Right to contract dollar contracted rights away. Required dollar mandatory, must. Federal non-taxpayer dollar federal taxpayer. Wages is not income dollar wages treated as income. Time is private property dollar time is government property. Worker dollar employed. Traveler dollar driver. Use, enjoy dollar operate. 
Automobile Household Goods Dollar Motor Vehicle, Vehicle Bill of Sale Dollar Registration Traveler, Guest Dollar Passenger Allodial Land Dollar Feudal Property Common Law, UBO, $501, C, 3, Non-Profit Real Money, Intrinsic Worth, Dollar Commercial Paper, Worthless Not Subject to Public Debt Dollar Surety for Public Debt can question public debt dollar cannot question public debt. No third-party dollar government is third-party. Sovereign man, king's right, dollar human resource, king's slave. We, the people of the United States an explanation continued. Dear legal counsels. The federal government is renowned for its complexity, so it is extremely gratifying to be able to compress an understanding of that government and its law into a couple of sheets. Pages 42 and 43 of Title 28 U.S.C. of the Federal Government's own Judiciary and Judicial Procedure Code book printed by the Government Printing Office are the most important pages of law in the Federal Government. On those two pages, Congress explains that the territorial composition of the United States District Courts is only that area subject to the exclusive legislative power of Congress. Did you think that the 50 United States were subject to Congress's lawmaking power? To answer that we offer a riddle. What country gets smaller the more land you add to it? The United States of America de jure is thought to be a nation, state but it is a confederation of nation, states created by the Articles of Confederation and it consists of the 50 United States. If Washington DC and Puerto Rico are combined with the 50 United States, you don't get a bigger and better United States of America you get the government of the United States and 50 sovereign states. Those odd two pieces of real estate won't ever combine to form a whole nation, state and that is key to understanding the United States District Courts. The inability to combine the 50 United States, Washington DC and Puerto Rico to form one nation is what explains and gives us the territorial composition of the districts and divisions found in sections 81131 of Title 28 USC in the rest of Chapter 5, Congress explains that only one district court in all of the 50 states. Hawaii has been established as an Article III judicial court and explains why that court cannot function as a court exercising judicial power. If judicial power is to be exercised in the several states, it will have to be exercised by state courts, because the districts have none. The federal government in the several states will consist of two government powers since the federal courts have not been granted Article III, Section 2 judicial power. While one or two branches of government may be good enough to do government work, it takes all three to lawfully act upon a citizen. United States of America General National Government of the United States of America, in the Family of Nations, de jure United States District Courts 2 January 27, 2005. The nature of the complete federal government cannot be understood unless the reader understands all that begins with the caption, Chapter 5, District Courts, and ends with the paragraph below. Historical and Revision Notes if you were not sent pages 42 and 43 of Title 28 U.S.C. or if you have trouble reading or printing out these pages, you can also access Title 28 U.S.C. via the Internet. The impatient reader is invited to go there and read first Section 91 and then examine every other district court to find one ordained and established under Article 3. The federal trial courts are universally but erroneously thought to include all the territory in the counties that comprise districts and divisions of the United States District Courts. This perception of the federal trial courts is the result of the quick read encouraged by those who favor a strong, large and powerful federal government. Congress, on pages 42 and 43, must state in its curiously cryptic way that the territorial composition of the district courts is only the federal territory subject to the exclusive legislative power of Congress because that is true. The statute law that establishes the federal district courts in the several states must confirm that the territorial composition of the district consists only of federal territory or Title 28 U.S.C. could not have been enacted into positive law. By now, you should have those two pages in front of you, so that you can take a heavy pencil or marker and write the date, January 1, 1945 on each page and circle or highlight Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. Now, you must determine for yourself, what is common to all the place names from section 81 to 131 that are listed on these two pages. All the facts, including the date January 1, 1945, presented in legislation are important and must be accounted for. You must now write below this paragraph what you think is the territorial composition of the districts and divisions of the United States District Courts that make up the rest of Chapter 5. Remember that your inability to account for all the parts of the whole will make your determination of territorial composition faulty.
if you wrote that the entire state or all of the county territory constitutes the district, go back and start over. A wise Greek once said that the best law is discovered as a gift from God. Statute law, to put it simply, is godless. Statute law is completely and totally made up by legislators. This in the Constitution is the origin of all the titles of the United States Code. Nothing in these codes is for all time that is why January 1, 1945 is used as a reference to determine those federal areas in the several states subject to the exclusive legislation of Congress. Alaska and Hawaii are, today, states of the Union, but were territories on January 1, 1945. Washington, D.C. is neither a territory nor a state, but is the product of cession of particular states, and the acceptance of Congress is the seat of government. Although it is treated like a state, it is the district, subject to the exclusive legislation of Congress, pursuant to Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17. Puerto Rico is today and was on January 1, 1945 a possession of the United States and definitely not a state of the Union. The correct answer to the question, what is the territorial composition of the districts and divisions by counties as of January 1, 1945, is pursuant to Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17, all places purchased by the consent of the legislature of the state in which the same shall be. If the reader is having difficulty understanding the significance of territorial composition, there is a good reason for that. The federal government doesn't want it understood. The federal government will even lie in print to cover up the territorial composition of the United States District Courts. Several editions of the United States Government Manual available on the web falsely state that the United States District Court for Puerto Rico is an Article III court. The court for Hawaii was so established and ordained in 1959, so that historical and revision notes, Section 119, Puerto Rico can be compared to Section 91, Hawaii to resolve the issue. The only territory that is common to both the several states, territory and possessions of the United States is federal territory within each. Those notes show that the district court judges for Hawaii are to be selected pursuant to sections 133 and 134 of Title 28 U.S.C., which is territorial law. Based on no evidence at all, and a big fat lie about the United States District Court in Puerto Rico, the entire American legal community is convinced that the federal trial courts in the several states exercise Article III judicial power everywhere within those states. I say, the de facto government has gone too far. I have examined the statute law that created every United States District Court and I found only one instance where Congress appeared to ordain and establish an Article III United States District Court in any state. In 1959 the Congress created an Article III United States District Court for Hawaii but made no provision for Article III judges by specifically precluding the President from appointing them. The Code specifically provides for territorial judges for the Hawaiian Article III Court. Title 28 U.S.C. Judiciary and Judicial Procedure has been enacted into positive law so the Code shows the same kinds of courts as are found in the statutes. Chapter 5 of Title 28 U.S.C. District Courts consists of sections 81 through 144. The names of all 50 states of the Union will found from sections 81 to 131 and in addition in section 88 will be found the District of Columbia and in section 119 Puerto Rico. The nature of the astounding revelations in this letter requires this unique format where facts are presented in support of the proposition that no United States District Court in any state of the Union can exercise Article III judicial power so these facts can be easily challenged. This kind of presentation invites facts that prove the contrary. I will give an example of a fact. Title 28 U.S.C. is territorial law. This fact will be supported by material found in the notes to Section 91. Those in federal litigation or who are contemplating that exercise should be aware that legal justice is available only from courts that have judicial power. Any litigant in any United States District Court in any state of the Union is warned that these courts have no Article 3, Section 2 judicial power, whatsoever. The United States District Courts of the several states are not judicial courts and the judges that sit in those courts are not Article 3 judges. Judges of these courts are appointed for life terms but they obtain judicial powers only when appointed to judicial courts with Article 3 power. The court is the equivalent of an office. An office has power because the officer that occupies that office has duties to exercise in that office.